One of the biggest questions I'll get is, hey doc, how much fat will survive from what you put in there? Well, there's so many different factors that we don't yet fully understand, but one thing is for sure. Your fat quality plays a big factor. The trick is to get this one single fat cell to live and to grow. On the average, I'm getting about a 60 to 70% of that fat that survives. In some people it's more, in others it's less. We have no control over this and we just need time to tell how much will survive. How much time, you say? Well, usually about three months. In some cases, up to one year, but the average is really about six months. Whatever stays after this time should remain forever. And we'll get into this a little bit later. But I'm gonna need your help. Let's listen to this very wise man. So whenever you're gonna sit, I don't want you putting any pressure on the buttock, so I want you to put a pillow that goes on the back of your legs, or even a pillow like this rolled up that goes in the back of your legs so that there's no pressure in the buttock. So let me show you. Colleen, can you come back here and just kind of roll that like that? Yeah, there we go. Good. And now there's no pressure between the buttock and the table. So you're able to sit. So you can use either something sausage shaped or rolled or even a towel or anything. So whenever you're going to sleep, what I don't want you to do is to put pressure on the buttocks. So I'm going to show you a way of lying down uh, so that you won't do that. Colleen, let me have you face the camera real quick. Um, one of the things is that I want you to apply pressure to this area of the body. Not here, because that's where I've placed fat, but rather right in that point. So uh, Colleen's going to demonstrate how we lie down. Colleen, so one of the things is to lie down on your stomach and go ahead and lie that way. Now, Colleen, let me have you roll to the side like we just talked about. The other option is to go ahead and sleep more towards your side. So let me have you lean there, right there. Now lift, lift up that arm for me a little bit, that way. Yeah, there we go. Um, you're putting the pressure in this zone, not here. So Colleen, if you could lean a little bit more forward, right there. Uh, and then you could always, okay, good. Now you could always place a pillow in that area and, and have the uh, pressure placed on that zone. People will say, well, I understand that not all the fat will stay, but do some areas of the body have better luck than others? And the answer is yes. Different body parts have different fat transfer survival rates. When you inject into muscle, it has a better blood supply, so there's better survival to the fat. It's like planting something in fertilized ground. The hip area has very little muscle thickness, so the survival of fat is not as good, maybe 50% in the outer hips. But in the gluteus muscle, which is the buttock, we're getting about a 60 to 70%. In some people it's more, in some it's less. So if you really wanna improve that hip area, it may take me more than one surgery, depending on your overall goals, depending on how much muscle exists in that area, depending on how much space I have in order to inject the fat. So there are variations, everybody's different, and sometimes it takes us two surgeries to get where we wanna to get to.